We are heading down the Baltimore Washington Parkway and according to Joyce's book Elvis, Sonny, Joyce and her twin sister Janice um, were heading back into the city after picking up Janice in Baltimore. As they approached Blanensburg Road intersection and New York Avenue they spotted a donut shop. I had to look up the intersection and knew that the old shop had since been torn down, uh, but I had found an ad in a November 6, 1976 issue of the Capital Newspaper, Help Wanted section, and it shows the exact location of the Amy Joy Donut Shop at 2201 New York Avenue, Northeast and this is what it looked like back then. So we stopped into the vacant lot and took some footage and I realize now I should have filmed in horizontal mode. Live and learn. As you can see here uh, the building on the right, the old brick building, is still there and the building on the left, which looks like an abandoned Taco Bell, stands where the once mid-century modern Amy Joy Donut stood. Uh, you can see that the windows on the building to the right match up with the old photo as well as the stack towards the back. Uh, also notice the grating by the curb at the bottom right. It appears that the grating may have been changed but the drainage area is still there. It's the same. So this is definitely the location Joyce mentions in her book. So the incident about the donut shop is that they saw Amy Joy Donuts and Elvis instructed the limo driver Ben to stop. According to Joyce, um, there was a lot of kids hanging out at the donut shop. So Elvis decided to roll down the window and when they saw that it was Elvis, they started flipping out. Against Sonny's protest, Elvis stepped out of the car and started signing autographs and the kids were just like, so excited. The kids started pressing in on Elvis and one of them was admiring his belt and uh, started rubbing it like Aladdin's lamp. Elvis took a step back and told them that he received the belt from the International Hotel in Vegas for breaking attendance records. And in one quick move he pulled out his pistol and said, and this is how I get to keep it. And the kids flipped out thinking that was the coolest um, ben came back with the donuts and Elvis said, well, gotta go, and he got back into the limo and waved his ring, gilded hand, out the window while they drove away. They would have made a left turn out of the parking lot to continue toward the city, and the traffic here is going back to Baltimore. So, if you're driving down to Washington, D.C., check out this piece of Elvis history. Um, I should have a few more videos coming soon and read Joyce Boba's book.